into a science uh, invention one day and you have all these questions about God existence and you ask God all these questions and God never answer you these questions the way he should answer those kind of questions so you went to the Bible and the Bible didn't have the question you asked God but my friend the answer is in the scripture and you gotta be the big enough person to know that God, the creator of the universe, have all the answers in the scripture. Hey, glory to God. He asked Abraham, Abraham, is anything too hard for me? He asked Malachi, Malachi, would a man rob God? Glory to God. So God have questions, glory to God. But are you ready to answer God? question now you might have a question for god and the bible have all the answer in it glory to god the bible say that in the beginning god created heaven and, and the earth and you saying that who created heaven and the earth it was god god made all things but you are being a ignorant and want to ask where did God come from God made himself God is in, is is infinite God is immutable God is omnipresent God is um o n i mean that he's can be comprehend through the fable mind we can't comprehend God so an atheist become atheists because they have all these questions about existence of God. God is too big for us to comprehend, for us to understand, because our mind can vast the, the mutability of God. So if you are an atheist and you're wondering where God's come from and where's the evidence of God's existence, you got to open your spiritual mind mind because we are both body soul and spirit and the flesh is our vehicle on earth but if we trying to get a vehicle to heaven we gotta be spiritual let's go to the bible nicodemus came to jesus christ by night and say master we know that thou art a, a teacher come from god can no man can do this miracle that thou doest except god be with him and jesus christ went down and told him glory to god he tell him that verily, verily, I say unto thee, as my man be born again, he can see the kingdom of God. So if you are an atheist and you're trying to see God, you got to be spiritual. You got to come on a spiritual plateau, a spiritual level. So listen, and Jesus Christ and Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again if he's old? Shall he enter into the second time, into his mother womb, and be born? Jesus Christ said unto him, verily, verily, I say unto thee, as my man be born of the water and the spirit he can enter into the kingdom of God so I'm telling atheists agnostic and although people don't believe in the existence of God you gotta go to God on a spiritual level not a carnal level not a flesh level but a spiritual those that are spiritual are spiritual and those that are carnal are carnal glory to God he said you must be born again like I mentioned to people all the time if you've been born once you're gonna die twice and if you're born twice you're gonna die once well, I'm talking what you talking about preacher I'm talking about if you've been born glory to God again in the spiritual realm you're gonna face death one time you're gonna die one time what is the second death the second death is the lake of fire and a lot of people don't believe in the lake of fire Kirk Franklin don't believe he got a new religion glory to God Roger he say he don't believe in God Carlton Pearson say that God is too merciful Merciful to send send people to hell, but God don't send people to hell. You decide to go to hell. Glory to God. So what I'm saying to you, if you've been born again, born again is not going to church. Born again is not carrying a Bible. Born again is not confessing. Born again is going down in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. So the atheists, you got a question and God got an answer, but you're not reading 
reading it, you not believing it, and you not living the answer. The answer is in his holy scripture. And to those of Muslim, glory to God, you got a book that was made up. Glory to God. It wasn't wrote by Muhammad. Glory to God. It wasn't wrote by no person that was a Muslim. These men came by and got oral tradition and wrote it. So this message is for those that are criticizing Christian, not Christianity, because Christianity is Catholic. And I'm not a Catholic. I'm a Bible Holy Ghost filled preacher. I preach the gospel. I preach not garbage. I preach the gospel. I preach the holy scripture because the holy scripture you must be holy. You must be living a life not like the devil. Not like the world. Listen my friend, we face three enemies. The flesh, the world, and the devil. And if you got the word of God, you can defeat all three of them. You can defeat the flesh. Paul said when I preach the other I make myself a castaway. You can defeat the world. Love not the world, only the thing that are in the world. And you can defeat the devil. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw not to God and God will draw nigh to you. So what I'm saying to you atheist, what I'm saying to you Muslim, what I'm saying to you non-believer, you must be born again. You must be born again to comprehend God. Hey, glory to God. You must be born again to comprehend comprehend God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Until then, subscribe to my video. Amen.